I recently posted a video talking about some of the top features that I hope make their way from the S23 Ultra over to the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 5. One of the features that I talked about in that video was the ability to use the ultra-wide camera as a macro lens on more and more modern phones like that S23 Ultra, like the Pixel 7 Pro device that I love so much as well. When you get very, very close to a subject, it will switch to that wide angle lens, which is now capable of autofocus at a very close distance and allow you to take a pretty nice uh, somewhat macro style photo. And that is a really, really handy tool because it's automatic and it's quick and it's easy. However, I don't actually think it's my favorite way to get really, really nice macro shots on these phones. In this video, I'm going to tell you how I take really, really nice bokeh out macro photos on these Galaxy devices. In this instance, we're showing this on the S23 Ultra, but any of these Samsung phones like the Z Fold 4 that have a pro mode is fully capable of doing exactly this. And like I said, the results are very, very nice, very full of bokeh, shallow depth of field, and lots of other really nice things like that that you don't get by using that ultra wide lens. So let's start off by kind of going through the uh, more normal options for taking photos of subjects that are up very, very close on this S23 Ultra. Or again, most of this will apply to other Samsung devices like the Z Fold. On the S23 Ultra, if you get very close to a subject, you may see the screen kind of switch. It'll kind of do something. You'll be able to tell something has changed. As I get closer to these headphones, boom, did you see that switch? That was it switching to the other lens to be able to get much, much closer to the subject. And like I said, that does a pretty good job there. It was switching back. That does a pretty good job of getting very nice and close, but there's not a ton of bokeh. Now, the other option is to use your telephoto lens, right? You could just manually zoom in like that and get much, much closer or even use your 10x telephoto. And you think, well, look at that. I'm, it's like a microscope. I'm getting so close. Well, let's take a moment. And we'll use these options and let's see what that looks like. And then I'll show you the pro mode option, exactly how I do this. Okay, so this is the one I took using the automatic switching option. And look, this looks pretty decent, okay? The area that is in focus is pretty nice and clear and it looks okay. It definitely gets up nice and close, but you might be able to see here that almost everything is in decently good focus, right? All the way back to the volume rocker, we're pretty well focused. On the 3X version, you get a bit more natural bokeh, right? Like it's not focusing quite as far back as the ultra wide lens is, but this stuff up front that is in focus isn't quite as crisp, okay? The 3X lens does, I think, in, in some ways a better job, okay? As far as being stylistic, as far as just looking nice to my eye, this is better detail on the automatic switching, but the 3X does have a bit better bokeh, but we're gonna do much better than this. The 10X, this is just simply not a good use of the 10X zoom. It just does not come out looking good at all. So we can take the 10X zoom for macro, throw it in the garbage. But let me show you one more. This is the one I took with the pro mode with the settings I'm about to show you. The thing up close, the bits up close that were in really nice focus are detailed and look very nice. But we have a very, very, what I would call very pretty, fall off of that focus. Look at that level of bokeh. We're out of focus very, very quickly. And when you're taking a macro photo, this is what I want. I want it to look pretty much like this. So this looks okay, right? But everything's kind of in focus. This looks to my eye much more interesting. So let me show you a couple more and we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna throw the 10X out because it's irrelevant. So again, this one was taken with the automatic switching. And I think that this does look Pretty good, it's nice and detailed, but again, notice just the way things are focused. The sound foam in the back is still fairly well in focus. This is using the telephoto lens, which in some ways looks better, in some ways looks worse. Okay, so the detail is worse, but the bokeh is better. And then this is using the pro mode. Which one do you think looks better? Okay, if we zoom into the middle here, the part that was in focus, and keep in mind, it's a very, very narrow bit of this that's going to be in focus. We're in focus here, we're out of focus here, we're out of focus here. Okay, it's a very narrow band of focus because we're using a larger sensor and that's also, just in general, why we're gonna get this really nice, pleasing, bokeh outlook. Okay, so what are my settings? How am I actually doing this? Let's jump back to the overhead camera 
and I will show you exactly that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your camera app, duh. You're gonna scroll over until you see more, and underneath more, you should see pro mode. Now I've actually already hit the plus button and brought mine out and put it all the way over here on this side, but that's where you're gonna find your pro mode. Typically, when I do an expert raw, just pro mode. Now, step one is if you come down here to this bottom bar, you'll see where you've got all these different settings. Most of these you're going to ignore, okay? You're not gonna really mess with these. You're gonna let it do its thing. But under focus, you're gonna tap that and you're gonna tap on manual. And this allows you to manually change your focus. Now, can you see how things are turning green? Okay, that's focus peaking. That's showing you where you are in focus. But I tend to drag it all the way to the left at 0.0, .0 because that is the closest possible focus. Now, the next step is to pinch in and zoom to about 2x. Okay, so we're not going to go all the way to 3x and switch to that telephoto. We're going to stay with the primary sensor, but we're going to digitally crop in just a little bit. And then when we bring ourselves to a subject we're going to take a photo of, what we're going to do here is we're going to tap on focus again, and we're just going to kind of move it forward and then backward until we start seeing the green appearing. Maybe that's hard to see, but there's green appearing right there. That's how you know you're in focus. And then you can snap the photo. And when you do this, the result should be a photo that is up very close, that should be in very nice, very nice focus, but also has this really, really distinct bokeh that is more representative of what a macro photo should look like, at least in my mind photos like this. Look how nice the detail is here on the interior of this little flower, but again, that very narrow band of focus keeps things looking really, really pretty. Again, here we're going to jump forward. We're in focus here in the middle of this flower. You can see all this detail, but as soon as we're, what is that, like a couple of millimeters away and we're already dropping off that focus. And here's one that I took with my Fold 4 using these exact same settings. Look at the level of detail we have on this. I don't know if this is a moth or a butterfly, but that looks absolutely awesome. And if I were using the automatic switching on the S23 Ultra, this background would all be in better focus and this just would not be the same shot as what I got here. So there you go, go to Pro Mode, Focus Manual, pinch into 2x to just to crop in a little bit more. Your sensor is more than good enough. It's going to look more than good enough, even digitally cropped in like that. And use that focus peaking to snap away and get some really nice bokeh shots. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.